I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Carlos Liang, the founder of Divi, Divi.bet. Carlos, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Ashton, for having me on the show. Excited to be here today and talking about Divi. Likewise. Yeah, I was looking through, you know, Solana protocols and some of the dApps that are coming out and I was looking at some of the more popular ones that people actually like and Divi resonated with me a lot and I really want to learn a little bit more from you and share it with the viewers as well. And I would love if you could just kick it off by explaining a little bit about Divi and some of those solutions that you're bringing into the cryptocurrency space. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I want to thank you, you know, for definitely having me here and recognizing us, you know, as one of the standout projects in the Solana ecosystem. So, you know, definitely means a lot to us and we're definitely honored to be here. Uh, but without further ado, I'll go into what Divi is and, and, and hopefully, you know, educate, you know, the uh, your mass uh, audience on, on what we're trying to do here. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. Um, so what Divi is, right? Divi is the next gen betting platform built on a blockchain that offers guaranteed payouts and instant settlements. And if that's not enough, Divi also has a DeFi component to it. Now it enables anyone to be the house, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Well, what I've noticed uh, with a lot of the blockchain ecosystems is that some of these ones that you know, have an aspect of gambling, they really pick up really quickly uh, and they get mm -hmm. a lot of traction. Um, Maybe you can talk about that convergence between, you know, how much of this is gambling, how much of this is risk management, and, and how much of this is mm -hmm. DeFi. Yeah, absolutely. So we're actually kind of trying to marry everything, in, you know, into one, right? And, you know, one of the things that I've noticed, you know, in both the crypto industry and the gaming industry is that the risk tolerance there and the risk profile are awfully similar, right? You know, and lately in the last year, the word degen has come up and it's really, you know, used to kind of brand everyone within the industry. So, I mean, I think it's pretty natural to kind of, you know, go out to our, you know, brothers and sisters on the other side of the coin that haven't fully dived into crypto technology or blockchain technologies yet and offer them a platform where it allows them to do that, right? And I do believe Divi here, we do uh, have the platform here that utilizes blockchain technologies to solve a lot of the pain points that are currently plaguing the game industry. And when you add the DeFi component to it, I mean, in my opinion, it's came over. It's something totally revolutionary, and uh, it's going to redefine the way that people uh, bet and use, you know, blockchains. Amazing, and yeah, you know what? I think the odds are probably a lot better uh, mm -hmm. in cryptocurrency than they are going to the casino or some traditional gambling. And every time I go to the casino, I'm always like, guys, I'm already gambling with my life in cryptocurrency. <laughs> I don't need to like go to the casino. <laughs> Um, but right. So well, the only difference here now, though, is, you know, if, when you walk to the casino, what does everyone know, right? The house always wins. Yeah. So now for the first time ever, we're providing people an opportunity to actually be the house, right? You know, you don't always have to define the odds now and take what the, you know, the statisticians, the odds providers give you. Now you can actually, you know, park your funds with Divi and have it grow alongside the house. Yeah, I think that's an incredible point to make. And that's the beauty of these you know, permissionless decentralized protocols is you can be on whatever side you want and, and you can also see, um, you know, what the house is doing or, or a little bit more of the numbers. Um, and exactly. I, know, I know that you guys were working in the hackathon with Solana and you did really well. And I'm curious, where is Divi at right now compared to where you guys were back then? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's well, I wouldn't say it's a totally different product. We've definitely grown a ton. Since that point in time, right at the hackathon, you know, that's when we formed the core team and really started building out uh, what we envisioned the future of Diddy would look like. So since then, you know, we've been successfully been able to build a DevNet platform, which is basically, um, you know, a, a testing platform where people can take fake funds and kind of test out the platform, right? So that's been going on pretty well for us. And right now we're in the final sprint to really complete all the you know things that are remaining in order for us to release an MVP. But at the same time, as we've been exploring the space and kind of seeing what's out there, you know, NFTs is something that we can't ignore, right? So we've been able to find a unique opportunity to actually add that product down a roadmap where now we're creating NFTs where they're more than just a JPEG, right? They have a huge community. They're going to have a huge community behind it. And also, you know, we realized a unique opportunity for us to leverage our Divi ecosystem to bring, you know, NFTs, uh, you know, these benefits and, and, and utilities that are not seen in any of the other NFTs. And also, we've also added a lot of innovative, you know, new types of games 
onto our protocol that will be released shortly after mainnet. Um, so yeah, so you know, the difference, I guess summarize the difference between now and then is that, you know, we actually have, we're on the way of building a real working product and our roadmap is much more fleshed out to now, you know, we're building an entire ecosystem that, that you know, we plan to really you know, take the uh, gambling industry by storm. Definitely. And I think that's really important to have a DevNet. Uh, and from what I understand, you can go and, and you can try the games and you're not actually risking anything. It's just play crypto money, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Yep. Yep. So, you know, we, our entire platform is going to be stable coin based with USDC first. So in DevNet, you know, you'll be able to mint basically fake USDC and then use that and test out, uh, test the platform out as much as you want without, uh, you know, risking any actual money. Very cool. Well, that's great that that's live now. And you were talking about moving towards mainnet release and adding more games. Is there any tentative timeline on what are the next steps for Divi leading up to mm -hmm. that? Right. So right now, I mean, we're, we're mainly focused on V1 mainnet, right, to make sure that we're able to release, you know, an MVP platform that, you know, unfortunately, it won't have all the bells and whistles that you would normally see. But, you know, at least it would kind of give people an idea of the direction we're heading towards. And also it'll let the community be able to kind of come in early, test out the product with us, use the product and actually provide feedback on which way we should go as well. Right. So, you know, that timeline is about, you know, an eight to 10 week timeline before we get on mainnet, right? We're going to do very rigorous testing and go through uh, audits as well to make sure that we're bringing, you know, the most secure and fair platform um, to the public. Definitely. And yeah, speaking of audits and security, uh, I'm guessing, you know, people are contributing to the house fund and then there's money mm -hmm. sort of in a, in a pot that's available as the games are played. Um, exactly. Obviously, that's going to be important to like have security and auditing measures in the smart contracts to make sure there's no vulnerabilities, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's the number one thing, right? With everything going on in the blockchain space and DeFi overall, right, in order for the system to be completely trustless, people have to know that, you know, at least the smart contracts are built in a way where it's secure, right? And look, at the end of the day, I don't think anyone's going to be able to capture all the loot, like all the vulnerabilities just because the technology is so new and whatnot. Uh, but we're relying on our auditors to kind of let us know, you know, all the, these are all the known vulnerabilities and also what they think the future vulnerabilities to be and to make sure that we have all the good things patched so that we could do our best to, to you know, secure everyone's funds, right? Because we're all part of this house together. So we got to look out for one another. Definitely, Carlos. And I understand that with smart contracts, you know, being open source and you can see the code, it's only, um, it's only secure until someone finds some new vulnerability that, um, that mm -hmm. there's always a chance, but obviously you're doing the best that you can. And maybe the Solana ecosystem will help with that and the security and the integrity of the network. And maybe you can touch on why you chose Solana and that ecosystem mm -hmm. to underlie the foundation of Divi. Absolutely. So, you know, when I originally came up with the idea for Divi, um, you know, I, I was pretty set on having this, uh, you know, some sort of EVM slash, you know, ERC-20 compatible chain. Um, you know, on Ethereum, it's just not really doable right now just due to the cost of transactions and also how, you know, the transactions per second, right? Uh, so if we were to do that, you know, based on everything that's going on now, people would have to pay hundreds of dollars to really put in, you know, put in a wager. So for a $20 wager, you would have to pay like 400 bucks to do, right? And due to the speed of the blockchain, you know, people that are advanced users of the blockchain can actually, you know, cancel the transaction or, or even replace the transaction, right? So then... You know, if you're trying to run that and, and also, you know, a, a sports book at the same time, that would just never work. Um, and that's when we identify Solana as the, you know, the first chain that we see that scale, like that has the scalability to kind of support an enterprise product like this. Mm -hmm. um, and also because it's being built in Russ and, and taking a different approach from, you know, Solidity and the way that Ethereum built smart contracts, you know, the, the way you do in a Rust is slightly more secure just because of the way it's been approached. And I think you can also see that, you know, in the markets, right? There just hasn't been as many, you know, uh, uh, DeFi projects that have been hacked or, 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 or compromised on the Solana ecosystem when you compare that to the Ethereum ecosystem. Definitely. Yeah, no, I think that's uh, safe to say. I, I haven't seen many on Solana. Um, so mm -hmm. hopefully you're in good hands there. Um, yeah. yeah. You, you did mention there uh, with the DevNet, you know, minting stable coins. Uh, USDC and, and working with that. I'm curious if 
there's other assets um, like some of the main digital assets that are available, like maybe Solana or, or Bitcoin in the platform. And also, is there a Divi token that's used in the platform as well? Yep. And uh, the answer to that, I guess maybe I'll go a little backwards. Yes, there is going to be a Divi token, but that's going to be more of a governance token slash, you know, we're going to create some other benefits like you use within uh, the Divi ecosystem. You know, the more tokens you hold, the more benefits you're going to be able to unlock. And we'll be announcing those pretty soon. Uh, but in terms of, um, could you repeat that, that, that first part of the question again? Sorry. Yeah. I was, I was just curious about other assets to gamble with. Uh, besides yes. Yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, you know, had to kind of, you know, fumble with that, uh, decision when I first started and I actually, you know, I've decided that we're going to so far just stick with stable points. Reason being, you know, with other crypto sports that currently exist, uh, you know, oftentimes they'll, you know, require you to use. BTC, Ethereum, or the native asset tokens. But when you kind of think about the overall user experience, it actually makes it quite poor, right? And, and, and here's why. So for example, you know, recently with crypto kind of, you know, going into a little bit of a bear market, right? You know, you see BTC go from 60 to, to, to around 34, 35K. So imagine you were on a season long prop bet, right? Let's say, you know, I want to bet that Pat Mahomes is going to win the uh, MVP next season, right? And if this was denominated BTC, not, not only do you have to convert, you know, whatever you want to wage in USD into BTC, but you also have to deal with the volatility, mm -hmm. right? So I wanted to kind of just get rid of all of that, right? You, you shouldn't have to worry whether Bitcoin is going to be up or down by your wage rate, right? So we've gotten, we've taken that all out and that's why we chose to, to go with stable coins first. And the reason why we found with USDC is because it's the most used coin in this, uh, used stable coin in the Solana ecosystem. But we have, you know, we've, we fully have plans on our roadmap to integrate with other stable coins such as USDT, uh, DAI, and, and some of the other ones are native to Solana, um, as well as branching into, you know, other tokens in the future if there is a demand for it. Um, you know, right now we want to bring people a product that, you know, that closely resembles what they see on the Web2 side. Um, so, you know, with everything denominated in the US, so there isn't as big of a, uh, hurdle when they're converting over and then also th at the same time they'll be able to realize all the benefits that the blockchain provides mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense carlos and you're already gambling uh why gamble twice with <laughs> right all exactly assets? Uh, so that makes a lot of sense that's really cool mm -hmm. and now looking down the road you know i know you're early on we're looking forward to the mainnet launch but i want to mm -hmm. hear like the vision in the longer term say three to five years from now where do you want Divi to be at in the cryptocurrency space, yeah. in the gambling space? Absolutely. In, in, in five years, I totally see Divi as, you know, when people talk about betting on, on crypto, it's going to be synonymous with Divi, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be the go-to place for, for people to wager anything on chain. Um, and, you know, we're going to go beyond Solana. Solana is really just mm -hmm. a starting point, right? More of a, like a proof of concept that this will work. Um, and I think by releasing DevNet, it already proven that concept a bit. So, you know, we aim to be totally chain agnostic, right? So we're exploring to whichever one to go to, whether it's near, um, you know, uh, Avalanche, Polygon, you know, whichever one. But, you know, we're definitely going to be chain agnostic. Also, you know, I just mentioned that we're going to be supporting a ton of tokens. So really, there shouldn't be any limitation when it comes to people wanting to wager on, 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 on uh, you know, the blockchain space and on chain. Right. And also in addition to that, right, our first version is going to be a sports book, but we're getting into, you know, this entire thing is going to be a gaming ecosystem. So not only will we have the sports book to start, right, at the end of the five years, you know, we're going to be supporting daily fantasy sports. All right, uh, so similar to your DraftKings and FanDuels, we'll bring that on chain. Next is also poker, right, where we're currently partnering with John Raisner, who's a top 100 poker player worldwide. And he's going to help us and bring all the expertise he knows in poker to build out, you know, what he envisions, what we envision poker to look like on chain, mm -hmm. uh, casino games, and then also, you know, innovative games that haven't really been seen before that have a DeFi element to it, such as no loss pools, uh, no loss lotteries, and, and things of that nature. Um, so, uh, yeah, we want to be synonymous with betting on chain uh, within the next five years. Very cool. Looking forward to all of that. And of course, Thank the you. first steps are to get to the mainnet launch, um, to have exactly. the token release, start expanding the products uh, for the viewers that want to test out this DevNet and get in the community so that they can get on top of it when this mainnet does launch right away. What is the best way for them mm -hmm. to stay in the loop and get involved with Divi? 
Absolutely. The best way would be to visit our site at divi.bet, uh, which is right on, on the screen there. And from there, you'll be able to see all our socials that you can follow. Um, and, you know, mean, I would definitely implore you to join our Discord. That's where you know, most of the community discussions happen. And that's where you'll be able to stay uh, most up to date with everything going on with Divi. Awesome. Thank you, Carlos. I will leave the links to the socials and Divi.bet in the description box for the viewers. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on. All the yeah. best with Divi, and let's follow up in the near future. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me on, Ashton. This has been an absolute pleasure for me, and uh, yeah, looking forward to speaking to you in the future as well.